<laughs> Do you have any vices at all? Uh, yes. Lust. Lust? I'm a dirty old man. <laughs> you... <laughs> I'm harmless. You... <laughs> you... But I fantasize a lot. Every, every attractive woman I see, I, I lust after me. You see, so I, I have uh, faults. A saint I ain't, and I've never pretended to be. Or at least it's a cheap fault, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it, and there are no great dangers associated no. with it, as no. long as you don't act on it. Exactly. Yeah. Here is a very articulate man, an ordinary man with an ordinary job, doing extraordinary things, and for extraordinary reasons. I feel that he's a man of character, and he's a man that can lift the morale of many of us to be caregivers. Now, come on. Uh, other than lusting, you're, you're a pretty, <laughs> pretty virtuous guy. You ever play the lottery? All the time. I've played lotteries in Canada, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Illinois, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Virginia, Florida, New Zealand, and Australia. Have you ever hit? Uh, mostly free lotto tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to hear you do, so, you do something stupid, too. That's, uh, why do you play the lottery? Because I, there's a possibility I, someday I might win. And if you did? Well, as I, I've explained... You'd I, give it away? Not all of it. But you'd explain. All right. Well, what would you do with the extra money? Well, I'd, I'd, first of all, I'd put a nest egg aside to, uh, to deal with the emergencies that might crop up, you know, and medical expenses and one thing and another. And I, would enjoy, I would make use of it, but uh, I've it, it takes so little uh, f for me to enjoy, though, you see. I can curl up with a good book and the world just isn't there, you see. I don't need a lot. Uh, I don't need to get my head bad to have a good time, you see. Let my my, my wants and needs are relatively simple. I've got it down to just one more question. There. If the time ever came that you needed a thousand dollars and you picked up the phone and you started calling each of these people, what do you think would happen? I, I don't know. I imagine they would uh, be disappointed <laughs> because it wouldn't have really been a gift if I'm coming back for it. And I would never do that. I would uh, try to get it from any other source before I would try to get it from one of those people I had given it to. That's it. It's theirs. Of course. Well, you're a remarkable man and, and also a gracious host, and I thank you very much. Well, I uh, thank you for your interest. And that's our report for tonight. I'm Ted Koppel in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. If you'd like a transcript or video cassette of this or any other edition of Nightline, please call 1-800-913-3434. Nightline is online with America Online. AOL members use the keyword ABC News. Nightline is a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. Saturday here on ABC Sports, two of the big boys in college football, Florida at Florida State. And on the information, it's his investigation, and we support it. It makes it frustrating for us, but it's his right, and I think he's doing a very good job. Well, on that note, thank you very much, Bob Greenlee, Mike McPhee, Tony Frost. I'll be back in a moment. with MMX technology plus a video phone lets you meet face to face on your PC. Hi. You must be Sheila. And you must be bald. I mean Bob. Bob! Blind dates will never be the same. To you it looks like this. To a car thief it looks like this. And to our 
Ford Motor Company engineers, it looks like one of the most powerful anti-theft devices ever. Only this key sends an electronic code to the engine before it will ever start. So it looks like your new Taurus will be just where you parked it. Ford. Quality is job one. Between fire and ice. Everything points to an imminent eruption on Angel Summit. Night and day. Angel Summit shakes all the time. It doesn't mean anything. Life and death. Something bad is coming and God help us if we don't get out of its way. Nature is about to wage a war that will blow you away. Volcano. Fire on the Mountain. February. ABC. Oh my God. Selling great used cars at low prices is our business. What you do with the money you save is yours. CarMax, the new way to buy used cars. And finally, a program note. Join Sam Donaldson and me for this week on Sunday as we preview the State of the Union with congressional leaders and the Secretary of the Treasury. That's our report for tonight. I'm Koki Roberts in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. For comprehensive political coverage on the World Wide Web, go to www.politicsnow.com. If you'd like a transcript or video cassette of this or any other edition of Nightline, please call... 1-800-913-3434. Nightline is a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. Sunday on This Week with Cokie Roberts and Sam Donaldson. The budget battle, Medicare, campaign financing, and all these people have something to say. Plus, George Stephanopoulos, Sunday. Not everyone is invited to the AFC-NFC Pro Bowl, but you are. Tune in Sunday night on ABC Sports. If you think KFC just serves the Colonel's original recipe chicken, think again. There's our chunky chicken pot pie, freshly baked in a golden flaky crust, and the Colonel's crispy strips, freshly prepared all day. At KFC, our menu is getting so big, you might need a bigger table. Everybody needs a little KFC. Now fill your plate with the Colonel's Crispy Strips or a Chunky Chicken Pot Pie Combo Meal at a special price, just $3.89. Virginia Power has a lot of technology, but that doesn't mean anything to the customer that's on the end of the line whose power's out. When a storm hits, Virginia Power is flooded with thousands of calls, and that's why we take our office home with us so we can be there when the customer needs us. It takes more than electricity to be your power company. Well, I can give customers answers right away instead of them having to wait for me to get into the office. It takes people, like Paula Traver. Isn't technology great? Need a close, convenient place to get some quick grocery shopping done? Food Lion's in the neighborhood, and each store is designed for easy, in-and-out convenience. Food Lion, extra low prices, and more. Raising a family can get expensive especially the food. That's why at Food Lion, we have a great selection of the brands you want at extra low prices, which should help make your day. Food Lion, extra low prices, and more. Remember when someone made lunch for you? Packed all your favorite things in a little lunchbox? Well, someone still does. Hey, Mom! Got your lunch. Introducing Lunchables Dolly Carryouts brand. You my lunch! Thank you so much. Lean meats, a soft bagel, all you need to make a great deli-style sandwich, even a little treat. New deli carryouts. Your lunch is made. Paris, what would they do with Dallas? Your company team can sign up now for this year's March of Dimes Walk America. Watch out. Here comes the ball. The Simpson Letter. Signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm Barry Nolan. The only African-American on the Simpson jury panel has been dropped. 
and two former criminal jurors are igniting even more sparks at the civil trial. Only hard copy has the actual letter and the women at the center of the scandal. Autumn's Secret. I'm Jody Baskerville. Autumn Jackson says she's Bill Cosby's love child. Now one of her best friends reveals the truth about Autumn and America's favorite father. Unbridled cruelty. That's my horse. I can do whatever I want to do with it. I want to shoot it right here in the driveway. That's my privilege. I'm Diane Diamond. It is a disturbing hard target investigation. These horses aren't being put out to pasture. They are being senselessly slaughtered. Find out how you can save the horses. Photographic memories. I'm Terry Murphy. The man who captured the beauty of John Benet Ramsey through his camera lens talks only to hard copy. I can't imagine a more horrible crime. Their own child in their own home on Christmas night. They're just... It's beyond, it's beyond all comprehension. He shares his memories in an exclusive photo journey back into the loving life and tragic death of a little princess. Plus, a bad break put the plans of some fishermen on ice and in danger in a hard copy minute. From the Simpson trial in Santa Monica, California, hello and welcome, I'm Barry Nolan. And in Hollywood, I'm Terry Murphy. You're watching Hard Copy for Friday, January 31st. Well, it is back to square one here at the Simpson trial, as the only African-American juror on the panel has been dismissed, and they must begin deliberations anew. And then, there is this letter. Tonight, only hard copy has the letter and the women that are at the center of a scandal that could cause a mistrial. That story is tonight's top copy. This is the letter obtained only by hard copy that is igniting sparks in the very engine of the O.J. Simpson trial machine. There are at least two different versions of the typed document, simply written and saddled with grammatical errors. One was reportedly written and signed by former juror Brenda Moran, the other by former juror Gina Roseborough, who sat down exclusively with hard copy. It was just something that that was probably what's going to be done maybe after the case, not before, not before they you know, got the case in their hands, you know, after the fact. The intense controversy? The letter was reportedly circulated to members of the Simpson civil jury. Believe it or not, offering help in handling the media, securing big buck book deals, and making personal appearances. You must take action now and get immediate professional representation to preserve your rights and protect history. O.J.'s civil judge, Hiroshi Fujisaki, is reportedly furious. He had to delay court on Tuesday for two hours to deal with the matter. There are even rumors of a mistrial. Last night, a subpoena was issued to search Brenda Moran's South Central Los Angeles home. L.A. sheriff rifled through Moran's personal belongings. According to Moran's sister, the bust was a big surprise. She came home from work, and all this was going on. Somebody's putting out this lie. Gina and Brenda appear to have made quite a career out of their jury duty, and it seems that they are offering help to the civil jurors to do the same. You know, if they need somebody to talk to that, you know, we feel, you know, we've been there somewhat in a, in a different sense, but, you know, we just be there for them. The letter praises the jurors and urges them to contact a mysterious agent. It also states civil jurors should shun interviews immediately after the verdict. You will have a great opportunity to protect your rights and financial future by not talking to the press immediately. Through her attorney, Moran claims the letter was written only to help the civil jury, not to hurt anyone. This could be bad taste, bad judgment, but it was not an attempt to influence a jury in any way. The Simpson Saga. You watched hard copy from the start. We followed the tears, the cheers, and the cheers. Now, stay with Hard Copy for the finish. Autumn Jackson remains in seclusion tonight since being released from police custody. Meanwhile, one of Autumn Jackson's closest friends is speaking exclusively to Hard Copy's Jody Baskerville. Autumn Jackson. She's the teenager caught in the middle of an alleged extortion plot against America's favorite TV dad, Bill Cosby. Now, in this hard copy exclusive, Autumn's best friend and roommate, 
speaks out for the first time about a crime that stunned the nation. I would like for, you know, people to come out and tell the truth so all this could be over for both of them. Because I don't think they need to go through this. Camilla Williams says she believes Autumn Jackson is Bill Cosby's illegitimate daughter. She says Cosby provided money to pay for Autumn's rent, tuition, and a brand new car. But that wasn't all. She told me that she had a trust, it was a trust fund set up for her by, by Mr. Cosby. And I started to believe it because the more things she said and the things that she received, and I knew she wasn't working at the time. Camilla's connection to Autumn Jackson goes even further than friendship. Her brother is Autumn's boyfriend, Anthony Williams, a mystery man who confessed to aiding an alleged plot against Bill Cosby. I don't think he's a bad person. I don't think she's a bad person for him because they are, very, they are very much in love, and before all of this happened, they were going to get married. Camilla says her brother is on his way to California to be reunited with Autumn Jackson. An aspiring model, at one time it appeared Anthony Williams had a bright future, but that was before he became involved in a sick scheme that has caused the Cosbys nothing but more heartache. I don't think he would go and do anything that would be stupid to harm him, her, or his family. Meanwhile, CBS has decided to drop the second part of Dan Rather's interview with Bill Cosby, concerned the story was too sensational. Barry? Thanks, Jody. Now, the news watch that is your window to the world's headlines. Don't blink, you might miss tonight's hard copy. Tribeca, New York. The man who robbed and shot up Robert De Niro's restaurant last year gets a 20-year prison sentence. 25-year-old Peter Agron wounded three restaurant employees during the robbery. Milan, Italy. Cops arrest the ex-wife of fashion heir Maurizio Gucci. They say she ordered a hit on her husband back in the 1995 murder. Gucci was gunned down as he walked into his office building. Cops say his ex had a psychic work out the details of the hit. New York and L.A. Star Wars fans flocking to theaters in Manhattan and Hollywood for the re-release of the classic sci-fi film trilogy. Many fans dressed as Darth, Hans, and Princess Leia. The re-released versions include new special effects and remastered audio. And Sandusky, Ohio, an ice break leaves 30 fishing buffs out in the cold and separated from solid ground. We saved the people. Helicopters had to airlift the men back to shore. They were relieved to be out of that situation. Experts say a warm water flow underneath the surface of the ice caused it to crack in just a few hard copy minutes. In Boulder, Colorado, the coroner's office has asked a judge to seal the upcoming autopsy report on John Benet Ramsey to avoid hampering the investigation. Tonight, the photographer who captured John Benet's natural beauty on film has come out of hiding to tell his story to hard copy. Under the great wide Colorado sky, a dark cloud hovers over the soul of Randy Simons. I can't imagine a more horrible crime their own child in their own home on Christmas night. They just... It's beyond, it's beyond all comprehension. It's no wonder Randy Simons feels so deeply the loss of John Benet Ramsey. It was he who so delicately captured the inner beauty of this little girl. Her innocence, her playfulness. She was delightful. She was just a, a typically delightful child. She was, she was always teasing me. If I would ask her to do something, she would do totally the opposite. While there are those who believe this little girl was too grown up, this Denver photographer who spoke exclusively to hard copy promises John Benet was a child through and through. And on location, she was, uh, well, when we got near the playground, she was just a holy terror. She went through the playground like, like a tornado, like any kid would. While Simons remembers well his photo shoots with John Benet, he says one thing remains indelibly imprinted in his mind, the relationship between mother and daughter. I could see it. I could see the love in their eyes. And so I mentioned to Patsy, I said, you guys seem awfully close. And she said, well, this is not just my daughter, this is my best friend. And it's that maternal bond that has Randy Simons crushed by the speculation that the Ramseys could have hurt their little angel. You know, I, I live out in the country, and when somebody's barn burns down out here, you don't go over and burn down their house. You don't go burn down their, their house. You help build, rebuild the barn. Simons pays an emotional price for supporting the Ramseys. Crank calls, veiled threats. In fact, he agreed to meet us in this unrecognizable vast terrain outside Denver. 
his photos of a little beauty remain forever close to his heart. I hope that. John, but his spirit can soar like a hawk. Or an eagle. Or, or an angel. Up next, thoroughbred racehorses going from the winner's circle to the slaughterhouse. And there ain't nothing wrong with none of that. How you can help put an end to this practice in our hard target investigation. We have the ability to stop this. Plus, teaching people to, to care. That's what I'm all about. This retired postal worker lives off his pension, caring for his ill wife. Yet still, he sends his money to the needy. Trying to do what I can under the circumstances. Also, the lawsuit one man claims could expose Oprah's scandalous past. My son Shaq is big cold. Good thing Robitussin makes a cold formula. These little liquid gels can take care of seven feet, 300 pounds, stuffiness, congestion, and cough. Robitussin cold formulas recommended by Dr. Mom. O'Neill. Every now and then, I make my fettuccine Alfredo from scratch. I blend the cheeses and seasonings just right. So mine tastes pretty much like Lipton. Lipton. Great cooks think alike. My jeans, black. My jacket, black. My jello, black. Cherry, I think it's deeper than the other jello flavors. The fruitiness is more profound. It refreshes the soul. Okay, it isn't really black. It's more of an intense, passionate red. We could be entering the black cherry jello millennium. Naturally fat free black cherry jello since 1956 and still the coolest. This is Mako Madness. <laughs> Isn't it madness not to treat your Chevy, Nissan, or Olds to a new Mako Supreme paint package and save 50%? We'll sand away chips and scratches, wrap your car in a full coat of primer sealer, and add a UV sunscreen, and you pay only half price. It's Mako Madness. So if you want to save 50%, just say, uh-oh, better get Mako? And save 50% on our Supreme paint package. Quality oil paintings are just too expensive. Not this Sunday. The Starving Artist Group is back with a huge brand new collection from talented but undiscovered artists. Giant sofa size oil paintings from $19. Smaller accent paintings from $7. And still, absolutely nothing over $49. It's a Starving Artist sale this Sunday, 11 of 4. In Richmond at the Hyatt and in Petersburg at the Best Western Inn. Original sofa size oil paintings from $19. This Sunday only, 11 to 4. Animal lovers call it a case of unbridled cruelty. They say horses that are supposed to be put out to pasture are being slaughtered for profit. A warning, some of the pictures you're about to see are very disturbing. Diane Diamond has our hard target investigation. They are beautiful, graceful, a part of American folklore. But now the horse, a living symbol of our heritage, has become a hunted animal, a victim of a deadly industry that puts horse meat on dinner tables across Europe and Japan. You're looking at never-before-seen undercover video of America's secret chain. Terrified horses on the final stop of the underground killer pipeline. From a precious pet to a piece of meat. Horse slaughter is an American disgrace. Kathleen Doyle has devoted her life to stopping the slaughter. Many years ago, hundreds of years ago, our forefathers made a covenant with the horse to favor it, which means we protected it, we did not eat it. These magnificent animals are not the only victims of this deadly industry. Horse owners are unwittingly selling their prized possessions to killer buyers. I feel really... Uh, uh... Felt like one, one, one of your own family had been sold into slavery. But that's what allegedly happened to Richard is, Bud uh, Miller with one of his thoroughbreds, a winning racehorse named Wings and Rings. She has a, a value as a, as a breeding prospect. Uh, my intention in, in selling her was not uh, just to dispose of her, but in, to sell her to somebody uh, that would use her for that purpose. Instead, Bud was in for a horrific surprise. He received a frantic call from an animal rights group. She indicated that the horse has been sold to the killers. Bud did everything he could to get his horse back, trying to trace the sale. The killer trail went through this ranch and to a horse trader named Ron Biggin. 
Hi, I'm Steve Duran. I'm with the TV show Hard Copy. We went to visit Biggin looking for answers. I buy riding horses, jumping horses, race horses, and I buy slaughter horses. And there ain't nothing wrong with none of that. Really? Ron admits he bought the horse, but he insists that Bud Miller has harassed him. That's my horse. I can do whatever I want to do. I want to shoot it right here in the driveway. That's my privilege. What Ron Biggin did with the thoroughbred isn't exactly clear. All we're trying to do is to trace the, you know, the trail of where that horse went. You know, it's, it, it's a business with me. If they're good horses, I sell them. If they're going to hurt somebody, I sell them to the slaughterhouse. Ron admits selling Bud's horse for a $200 profit to another trader, who then allegedly sold it to a Canadian killer buyer. He wouldn't give me any other information. He said that, that would have, the only way to get that would be a subpoena or go to court, because this all took two or three weeks. And by that time, either the horse had either met its maker or whatever happened to it. Happened to it. Quite possibly, Wings and Rings, the thoroughbred with the winning record, ended up here. It's a dirty little secret of our Department of Food and Ag that our horses are being secretly allowed to be slaughtered and sent over to Europe for meat. No one in Washington wants to talk about this dirty little secret, and Kathleen Doyle isn't waiting for help. In her home state of California, she's now pushing for an initiative to classify the horse as a companion animal. If it passes, the horses would be protected from being slaughtered for food. Kathleen Doyle says it is a lonely fight at times, and if you'd like to find out how you can help save the horses, call Hard Copy's information hotline at 1-900-737-6633. Each call costs 50 cents, and you must be 18 or older to call. Monday on Hard Copy, they explode with a fiery vengeance, leaving mass destruction in their wake. There are 500 million people living too close to volcanoes, and they're in danger. Now, meet a pair of daredevil volcano chasers who say disaster could be closer than you think. This will happen. It's not a question of will it happen. It will. Find out if you're in the Volcano Danger Zone, Monday. Now, it would take a great deal more than snow, sleet, or rain to keep retired postal worker Thomas Cannon from making his special deliveries. Although he is no longer on the mail route, he is a first-class hero who is making a difference. Jerry Penicoli has the story. Whoever said money can't buy happiness apparently has never met Thomas Cannon. Love ye one another even as I have loved thee. You see, so I'm, I'm, that's what I'm all about. The 71-year-old Cannon retired from a Richmond, Virginia post.